But we're going to answer a question. We're going to tackle a very taboo topic. No one talks about it. But a young woman wrote in, and she feels that her inability to swallow her boyfriend's ejaculate when she goes down on him is getting in the way of their sex life because she just can't bring herself to do it. I remember when I had never given a blowjob and swallowed, and I was with Grant, and I was madly in love with him. So you should want to swallow. Well, it, That's no, how the we whole think, thing, you know? no, the whole thing is that I felt that if I didn't swallow, it was it's a form of rejection, or word, worst case scenario, I was swallowing and throw up. <laughs> you don't want to puke on someone. Well, come <laughs> on. So he explained to me that his wife, when she'd do a, a oral, that she would spit it out in a Kleenex. And I thought, no, that's also a, it's a form of rejection is what I was concerned about. I had several girlfriends that did that. They so would just spit the, it out. The point is, is that basically ejaculate across the board, and I've had a lot of experience, doesn't taste good. Well, it's got a weird consistency. Now, I don't have a good sense of smell. I've never had a problem swallowing, but I think it's probably tied to that. You can't taste either. A li it's, it's dampened a little. You know, I can taste, but not that well. So I don't know how I would feel if I was dealing with all of my faculties. Oh, well, let me tell you, I got a nose and a taster that is... The rule of thumb acute. is just swallow it fast. <laughs> well, the whole thing you with know, deep throat is... Is to get it all the way down your throat so that you don't have to really taste it. Now, that means you have to deal with the gag reflex, which is another problem. Well, that's surrender. And that's part of, I guess, the Well, the back interest. in those days, I wasn't going to surrender to no one. Of course not. <laughs> I was on the front lines. Uh-uh. Surrender? No. Take no prisoners? None of that. I so, don't think it should get in the way, though. It doesn't have to. Well, no. It you know? doesn't represent acceptance or rejection. It's it, Think of it as personal taste. Personal but I, preference. But here's that's the other thing. Thinking. I want to know how many guys have tasted their own jism. Yeah. Because some guys, you know, the guys that won't kiss you after you blow them, I can't deal that. I can't deal with that. It's like you should be able to taste yourself. I taste myself. Here's one. A guy gives you oral sex, and then he comes up to kiss you, and you pull away. No, I think that's hot. I love that. Because yeah, you're tasting yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's sexy on someone else's lips, tasting yourself. I don't see what is the big... It's, it's got to be shame. Uh, and not yeah. non-acceptance of our bodily fluids. My God... When I went through a period of drinking my urine in the morning, like the yogis do, this is not this is not a mm -hmm. uropathy is a very healing modality. Now I don't do it now because I'm going through too many changes. But you can look it up. Google Google uropathy. But it is accepting. You're right, accepting every so part of you. It's like you if you mm -hmm. take a dump, oh no, you know, close the bathroom door, nobody can see you. It's like acceptance <laughs> of our bodily fluids. I don't mean to eat shit or, you know. <laughs> Drink this. Now that you've got into scat play. <laughs> we're or, so off topic. Or have given, no, we're not. It's still talking about bodily fluids. And if you really don't like to swallow it, make, make something else sexy about it. Have them pull. It's, some, it's really fun to watch a guy ejaculate. You know, I understand why they do it in porn because it is fun to see. And have them come on your chest or your breasts. My, or, you know, yeah, or my favorite do porn, something fun. My favorite porn movie was 101 Comes. Yeah. And it was I mean, 101 guys, you, and you saw them, and boom, and then some of them got up, and some went down, and some splattered. And yeah, some, like how it comes out, everything that can be different exciting. Different color, different texture. I mean, yeah. A lot about your health is how your cum looks. So, men, you should be looking at your cum. We have that blog you know? that recently yeah, got Yeah, that was up. very popular because that's directly tied to your prostate health. So you know, we need to move past on it. But if you can't move past it, you can definitely work within that. Absolutely. You don't have to swallow. Uh-uh. You know? No, but you have to try it once or twice to get some idea what it is. To have the experience. Every man must taste his own cum. Mm -hmm. And just have an assessment. And yes, there are foods you can eat that change the flavor. Oh, absolutely. If you want it to be pineapple. Celery. <laughs> Celery? Yeah. It's it's they're it, they it, oh it's alkaline it neutralizes yeah, yeah alkaline and if it's a smoker uh, it's not good a to heavy me. drinker oh uh, yeah no so what you ingest definitely affects how you taste so guys taste your jism and gals give it a shot if you don't try it you'll never know all right let's go find some jism to taste. <laughs>